Hi, Dr. Mueller. Um, Loon here. This is going to be my muscle musculoskeletal checkoff. I'm going to do a 360 scan of the room just to ensure that I don't have any um, paper up paper up to be cheating. Okay, now I'll be pay, um, putting the camera onto the stand and I'll be starting my check off. Come in. Hi, my name is Luna. I'm a student nurse practitioner um, with the University of St. Francis. I'm working with um, the doctor today and I'll be just kind of coming in for he does, okay? okay. Um, can I get your name and date of birth, please? Shantang, January 31st, 97. 97, um, Shem thing, right? Uh -huh. Okay, um, well, Shem, what brings you into the um, clinic today? Uh, well, I just had some back pain today in my lower back, and I um, just wanted to get that checked out. Okay, so um, just to clarify, some um, back pain, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, can you have, tell me when it started? Um, it happened today uh, at work, and um, it, w it wasn't too long. It was only for about 10 minutes or so, but then, but yeah. Okay. So you said the pain only lasted for 10 minutes, so it's kind of like intermittent pain, pain kind of went, mm -hmm. so now it was there, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, just want just so I can get a better picture of how um, the pain, um, on scale from 0 to 10, 10 being the worst pain, what would you rate it? By like a 3. A 3? Yeah. Okay. Um, can you describe the pain for me? Is it kind of like a sharp pain? Um, yeah, it was kind of like, pain? yeah, it was more of a sharp pain. I felt like it was like almost, felt like it was spread a little bit, but... Yeah, more sharp than close to Okay, and then it was kind of just kind of sharp. Did it um, radiate anywhere to maybe like your leg, uh, towards your upper back or anything like that? No. No? Okay, so what, have you done anything to help with the pain, such as maybe take a Tylenol, ibuprofen, anything such as? Nope. No? Okay, um, well, um, have you had this pain in the past before? Um, yes, I have. Um, Something happened when I was in high school. Okay. And uh, but yeah, it's been coming and going ever since. Okay, but um, back then, back in high school as well, did you do anything to help combat the pain? No. No. Okay. Um. Well, so um, let's see exactly um what's causing your pain, and we'll look at the bottom of it. Okay. 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 So um, just looking at your history, um, have you ever been diagnosed with anything such as rheumatoid arthritis, osteoporosis? Bone cancer? Nope. No? Uh, what about uh, maybe um, some swelling of the joints? Um, uh, no. Any trouble with that at all? Nope. No? Nothing. Okay. What about any histories of um, diabetes? Any heart problems? No, not to me. No? Okay. What about any um, respiratory issues such as asthma? Uh, when I was younger, but no, not anymore. No? Okay. Yeah. So just kind of. And you grew out of it, huh? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, well, um, just looking at um, your family side, just kind of the same um, that disease that I named earlier. Uh, from your looking at your maternal father, mother, grandparents, even siblings, mm -hmm. um, have you been uh, have have they ever been diagnosed with maybe like rheumatoid arthritis, osteoporosis, cancer? No. Um, any any um, history of stroke at all? No. Um, any um, hypertension, diabetes? No. No? Okay. Uh, okay, so um, let me kind of get to know you a little bit more, okay, Shem? Looking at your social history, do you um, drink, smoke at all? No. No? Um, what about, do you have, have any stress in your life right now? Uh, no, I'm pretty happy. Okay, that's, that's good. Um, what about um, occupation-wise? Um, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a car salesman. Car salesman. Um, can you tell me what a typical day looks like for you? Um, typical day, really just sitting at the computer, uh, making phone calls to people, and if um, just if I have an appointment today or that day, just talk with the customer or whoever walks in. Okay, so um, so uh, other than showing um customers cars, you're just kind of sitting all day. Um, yeah, I try not to though, but. Yeah. Okay, you just kind of remember that when you're sitting for a long um, period of time, you just have to get that uh, proper posture, you know? A lot of people like to slouch over, and that can cause pain to your back, okay? I lean back. You lean back? Okay, I like and I know that a lot of um, um, places also sell the arch um, for your back as well now, yeah. so that might be something that you like to invest in as well. Okay, okay so... Um, 
What about medication, honey? I mean, medications. Um, um, this also maybe include like maybe natural remedies that people don't consider, maybe like drinking ginger tea or lavender. No. No. Okay. Um, what about any allergies? Nope. Nope. Okay. Um, well, what about are you up to date on your vaccines at all, Shen? Um. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's very good. Um, you just want to remember with COVID and stuff going on uh, to make sure you get your flu and pneumonia um, vaccines, okay? So now I'm just going to start um, with the um, overview of um, just assessing you from your, um, to see exactly what's wrong, okay? Just starting with your, your TMI, uh, TMJ. Just can you, can you open your mouth and close? I'm just going to be clicking for, um, checking for any clicking or any um, tenderness of the joints. And uh, while I'm doing this, just um, generally when I'm inspecting and palpating, I'll be looking for any um, symmetrical um, joints, any atrophy, any um, lesions, masses, tenderness, any swollenness or any redness on the body. So um, next I'm going to move on to the cervical, on the neck area, the cervical area. If you could just turn around, so um, kind of facing the camera. I'm just going to start over here. Around the C7, I'm just gonna work my way, work my way down. And again, just checking for any tenderness. I have to make sure the spine is um, not deviating to the left or right, which would be signs of scoliosis. And just checking the lumbar area, just kind of palpating it um, for any tenderness. Checking the um, perivetrebral area again for any muscle tenderness. Okay, you just kind of turn around for me. Um, we're just going to extend um, the neck and just kind of go like this for me and flip and then extend back, just kind of rotate left and right, flip left and right, and kind of kind of bend forward for me, then bend back and just kind of rotate for me again. Okay, very good. If you just kind of, if you could just sit down here for me, Shen. Next, I'm going to just check your um, clavicle area, okay? And just, um, you could just kind of lean forward a little bit for me just so you can get closer to the camera. Um, just want to check over here, starting at your sternoclavicular joints. And just let me know when you have any tenderness, and also, again, I'll be checking for any um, crepitus or any swollenness or redness that you see. Okay, and then working my way up the clavicle. And then this is um, just checking the acry ac ac acromial, um clavicular joints. And then over here, just off the shoulder, I'm checking the great um, turbicle. And then just checking over here, the shoulder as a whole, just checking the um, glenomacular joints. Okay. Now can you just kind of um, stretch out your arms for me? And then go to the back. And then we're just going to um, add adduct, so like this, and then adduct. Is there any pain with that at all? No. no? Okay, next, um, this, um, could you kind of roll back your sleeves for me real quick, just so um, your elbow is exposed? Oh, just one side is fine. But normally I would check uh, uh, both sides, but um, the purpose of the check, check off, I'm just gonna be checking um, unilaterally. Okay, if you just kind of bend your arm, I'm just gonna check um, the left pronoun, just kind of uh, pressing on it. And then I'm going to check the epicondyles for any tenderness, point tenderness. Okay. And next I'm going to be checking the joint for um, any tenderness again for a carpal tunnel. And then I'm going to be checking the hands for um, the joints at the MCP, the PID, and also the DIP. Okay. Can you kind of um, spread out your fingers for me? And then close them. Can you kind of touch each finger with your thumb? Any kind of, um, pain at all with that? Nope. Can you kind of bend your arm for me? And then flex. Okay. And go like this. And go like this. Okay, very good. Any pain at all? No. Nope. Nope? Okay. Um, next, I'm going to be um, moving on to your hip. So if you could stand up for me. And just kind of pop out your hip a little bit. And I'm going to be, um, again, this would be better if the patient was uh, had his skin exposed. Just going to be ch checking your great trochanter. So just the bone that's popping up over here for any tenderness. And then next I'll be checking the iliac crest will be um, about right here. 
to make sure it's symmetrical, make sure that one side is not higher than the other. Okay, thank you so much. Could you um, sit down again for me? Next, I'm going to be doing some assessment on your knees, okay? So um, if you could just um, raise up your pants leg for me, are you able to do that with your dress pants? Okay, next um, I'm going to be checking the knee area, like I stated. Um, first, I'm going to be start, starting with the patella, which is over here in the kneecap. And I'm going to be checking the um, upper condyle. And this is going to be on the um, femur region. And then I'm just going to be checking um, below the um, patella, which is going to be the tibial tuberosity. And then I'm going to be checking the condyles, uh, which is going to be on the tibia. Any tenderness at all? No? Okay. Next, I'm going to be ch um, checking the ankles, uh, both of the medial and lateral malleus. Any tenderness? And then I'm going to be checking the, um, the toes, the um, MP, the PID, and the DIP. Any tenderness at all? No. No? Okay. You can put, pull down your pants. Next, um, actually, um, we're going to go uh, work on the uh, upper half of the end, okay? okay. Um, we're just going to be ch um, doing some tests that we'll be checking if you um, injured your rotator cuff, okay? okay. So what um, we're going to do is call an F um, Epsley um, scratch test. So you just kind of reach both of your hands, kind of scratch your back, and then from the um, bottom as well. Any tenderness with the arms at all? No? no? Okay. Next, if you do this kind of stand-up formation, we're going to raise your arm, and this is going to be the arm drop test, okay? Just kind of keep on moving your arm slowly to the side, um, drop it down. Okay, very good. So next, we're going to do an empty can test. So just kind of put your arms out like you're holding cans and kind of um, empty them out. And I'm going to push against your arm, okay? okay? Any pain there? No? Okay. Next, we're going to do a test called the nearest test, okay? Just kind of point out your pinky up, and then pull it up to your ear. Any, any pain there? No? Okay. So, uh, next, we're going to do um, a test called the Hawkins test. If you just kind of put your elbow in a 90 degree angle for me, and then I'm just going to press down. Anything? No? Okay. Um, the next one is simply a uh, cross arm test if you just kind of swing your arms across. Anything at all? Nope. Okay. Um, next, uh, I'm going to be checking um, your ulnar nerve, and this is called the um, Tillin. Um, um, Tislin um, um, test, and I'm going to be going like this for, I uh, will be doing this for 30 seconds. Any pain at all? No. No? Okay. Next, I'm going to be doing the, um, uh, the Palin's test, and this is going to be, um, kind of just put your arms together, I mean, hands together like this, and I would have the patient do this for 30, to, 30 seconds to one minute, and the pain um, would have a positive, I mean, the patient would have a positive test if he was feeling any pain. Any pain at all? No? Okay. If you could just um, sit down again, um, we can go back to your knee. If you just kind of swing your um, body across and kind of put your knee up here. Like this? Yeah. Uh, you can just put it straight. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, both, both legs. Yep. And this is going to be the um, straight um, leg test. If you just kind of put your, um, try to hit your um, legs with to my hands, okay? Yeah. Oh, one at a time. Oh. Yeah. And if the patient was having any pain with this, it would be um, indicative of a um, herniated disc. Any pain at all? No. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to have you bend your knee. I'm going to kind of sit on your foot, okay? And I'm going to be pulling on your feet. And this is going to be checking if the patient has an ACL or a PCL tear. Nope. So I'm going to be pushing back. Anything at all? Nope. And next, I'm going to be doing a test called the Murray's test, and this is um, where I'll be moving the patient's leg around. I'll be um, listening for any clicking sounds, any tenderness, any grinding, um, anything that would be abnormal. So, yeah, I'm going to take your feet and kind of move it around, okay? Any pain at all? No. Okay. Well, can you kind of push against my feet for me? Just want to check, check the test. Push against, fine, yeah. And push down anything at all. And then for your feet, uh, arms, can you put, and then can you push up against my hands? Push down. Okay, looks good. If you just want to swing your legs over again, Shen. Um, I'm done with this, um, your assessment for today. I'm going to bring in 
um, the primary care provider and see, um, call him my findings, and hopefully we get, um, we find out what's causing your pain, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. And that's the end of my check-off. Thank you.